I wanted to try full crimp connectors for RG8X since I have a die that will do both the center and the shield. So this is what the connector looks like. We have Mr. Farrell and down here on the end, you can see that it's a full crimp connector. I did ask a social media group what people thought about full crimp connectors and boy, did I get a lot of opinions. Some people said uh, they're terrible. Um, other people said it's an industry standard now. I, I really got motivated to, to crimp last week when I did this wonderful uh, solder job here. And I thought I'd give them a shot. And it's kind of cool to do something controversial. This end is right there at the end. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the crimper to use. Take a quick look at the at the spec sheet for the connector right now. I have crimped my first Max Gain Systems complete crimp ferrule now. And that's, that's what she looked like. Double check the Max Gain Systems specs. Give this a shot, see how she do. Okay, let's take a look. Definitely got that, uh, that weird crimp shape. Not completely correct. I'm now gonna try the Max Gain Systems um, RG8 size, which means I'm gonna change my dies. Again, just upgrading the tool I already have. I'm not gonna, not gonna raise too many eyebrows in the old finance department here at the homestead. Old Farrell, Farrell. All right, wish me luck. First. RG8 crimp. That worked. Now, the interesting one will be the center. The problem I see though already is look how much empty space. I don't know if you can see it, but look how much empty space is inside. I don't think that's going to work. And that's going to that's going to be a deal breaker for me. Golly, that looks terrible. It's gonna be a no from me right there. So this is my second test. I'm gonna give it a crimp. See, it just closes like nothing. It ain't even gonna get close to being hex. So for me, I think I'm just gonna stick with the, the crimped braid and the soldered center conductor. Um, the, the RG8 I used uh, was Carol. C1154RG8U and my RG8X was a, a Belden and a Davis RF. Uh, Max Gain Systems, I don't want to disparage that at all because uh, there are different tolerances and cable center conductors and whatnot. Uh, Max Gain Systems, the prices are fantastic over there. They have a ton of selection um, that you might need. Shipping price was low and shipping was fast, which I don't get a lot with standard shipping from other places. So anyway, uh, for me, this was a wonderful test. Thank you for joining me today. Have a great day. I love you all.